Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you all. A few months ago, I purchased my Grail watch, and that is the Breitling Navi Timer, model number A2332. And I wanted this specific model because I like the Arabic numbers on the dial. I think it added a little bit more than what the traditional Navi timer offers. So I went on to eBay and I've been looking at these watches for quite a while and I finally pulled the trigger on this particular one and I won the auction. It had about 60 plus bids and I sniped it at the last minute for $3,771, I believe it was. My budget was right around $3,800, so I just squeaked by. It seemed like a fantastic deal at the time, and I couldn't wait to unbox it and see what awaited me. So there were two reasons, or actually quite a few reasons why I bought the watch from this particular seller and this particular watch. Number one, it had the eBay authenticity guarantee, which came with the auction, so that wasn't any extra. It went to eBay's authenticity uh, facility. They took a look at it and then they sent it to me. So it gave me a little bit of peace of mind and then it, it, it came with a card. And so that gave me some peace of mind. Number two, I, I liked this particular watch because it had a complete overhaul or at least that's what the receipt said on the auction and I'll show that to you here. I'll get back to that in a second. And number three, it came with the metal pilots bracelet. And the entire watch, at least according to the pictures, looked like it was brand new. So it appeared that I had I got into a fantastic deal here. Now Upon closer inspection, though, because even on the receipt, it stated that they replaced the subdials, which now I know that's not even possible. So I don't know what kind of place that this person took it to. Well, I know what place they took it to. They butchered this watch. They really did. And they did a absolutely horrible job. They charged... 800 and some change here for this complete service and um, yeah the watch is polished beautifully and from afar it looks great but with closer inspection as I unbox the watch I must say that my excitement quickly turned into concern when I noticed that the top pusher was getting stuck and being a watch enthusiast, I knew that this was not how it was supposed to function. So I decided to reach out to the seller and address the issue. After closer inspection of the watch, I noticed that there were some scratches on the dial as well, as well as some staining on the subdials that were supposedly replaced. Now I know that this is a one piece dial and that these subdials can't be replaced. So I don't know what type of voodoo magic uh, stuff that they put on that receipt, but it was just absolute baloney. But at the end of the day, I did send a detailed message to the seller explaining the problems I encountered. I mentioned the sticking top, uh, top pusher. And I also mentioned something as well with the three o'clock sub dial wasn't resetting to zero. So, as you can see, this watch is just really a complete mess when you really dive deep into this thing. And I expressed my desire to find a solution that didn't involve returning the watch. I still wanted to keep the watch because I felt as though, you know, these were minor things that I could take care of. So we went back and forth. After some negotiation, we settled on a $200 refund considering that I wanted to keep the watch. Um, so now I'm in the watch for 30, 3571, so about $3,600, which I still felt was a, a good deal. 
uh, considering I have the metal bracelet, which if I would have bought that uh, separately, that would have been close to a thousand extra dollars. I saw a lot of these watches on there with the leather strap and the leather strap was weathered and you can get those for significantly less. So I felt like I was still in the driver's seat here. So with refund in hand, I decided to take matters into my own hands and I attempted to fix the sticking pusher myself. And well, unfortunately, my DIY attempt ended in disaster, resulting in complete failure of the chronograph function. So it was before I was able to activate, reset the chronograph, the only problem was a sticking pusher. Well now, since I opened up the back and I really worked on it trying to fix that, um, I, I really uh, caused some damage I could not fix. So the chronograph function was not working. So. I waved the white flag and I contacted Breitling for professional assistance because that's the only place that I would take my my watches uh, because I know that they're going to do a good job. They're not going to be the cheapest, but they're going to do the job correctly. So here's where the story gets a little, takes a turn for the worst because I mean you probably thought that the story can't get any worse and I probably already had the turn. but. Now, nah, this is actually another turn, but it's for the worse. Uh, to my dismay, I got the estimate back from Breitling for the, necess the necessary repairs. Now, the necessary repairs that came back, I needed a full service, which I knew. Um, they also, this wasn't even an option, but they said they have to replace the dial because the dial was damaged. Now, that was the scratching and the staining. It just, I said, go ahead. I, I think if you're gonna do the job, do it right. And then the flange, which was the reason why this, the, the pusher was sticking. And then I opted for the optional crystal replacement. I said, you know, if you're gonna give me a new dial, you might as well put a new crystal on there as well so I can really get the experience of a brand new watch. So they did that. So I was uh, definitely taken back because I'm not getting my watch back until August now. And now I'm actually well over budget of $3,800. It's now at a staggering f over $5,000 now. So you might be wondering, do I regret this entire experience considering all the setbacks and the added expenses? And let me tell you something, absolutely not. Despite the challenges, I'm now going to have a 2009 Breitling Navi Timer, my Grail watch, at a discounted price, brand new watch. I'm going to have a brand new watch. Brand new Breitling Navi Timers are going for $9,500 all day long, right? I personally am not a fan of the the more subdued styling of the Navi Timer today. I like the busyness of the older Navi Timer. So I'm essentially getting a new Navi Timer, new hands, new dial, new crystal. Everything's gonna be polished up and looking absolutely 100% brand new. This particular watch is a horological masterpiece and the flagship of Breitling. And it's a brand that I deeply adore and respect. So this watch definitely holds a special place in my heart. It's gonna stay in my collection forever. And I'm willing to invest in the restoration to have it for a lifetime. So there you have it guys, my journey with the Breitling Navi Timer. It's definitely something that was unexpected. It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions, but in the end, I'm proud to own this remarkable timepiece. Sometimes our passions lead us into unexpected adventures, and despite the challenges, they're typically worth it. So in this case, I will say that now I have a story behind the watch, and yet I don't have the watch yet, but I will soon, so stay tuned. And as soon as I do, I'll do a review. So if you enjoyed the story and want to see more watch-related content, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. 
Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time on Average True Watch Reviews. God bless my friends.